All right, a lot of you guys have asked me to do some videos. Uh, this one right here is going to be, you know, checking uh, valve lash on the cams. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to install uh, one cam at a time, just to make things easy. And then you're going to get your feeler gauges, and you're going to set your cams first to where the top of the lobe is at the same angle as the valve caps. So. Basically what you're going to see here is you got the tip of the cam lobe right here and it's roughly the at the same angle as um, the cam cap. Uh, given that this is the exhaust, it wants, you need to be in between uh, 10 thousandths and 13 thousandths. So I've got my feeler gauges out, I've already done this one. Uh, this one right here is roughly at 18 thousandths uh, of an inch. So what I'm going to do is just slide it. You feel just a little bit of, bit of a tug. And then you go the next size up, which would be 19, 19 thousandths. And notice it doesn't go underneath there unless I use excessive force. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure <coughs> each lobe set. You're going to use a wrench to rotate the cams until, let's see. This set right here, just there we go, and then repeat the process <clears throat> to install the cams. Uh, it does need to be torqued to sequence, so you can find that in your field service manual. What I did was, since I've already gone down and checked lash on this, I wrote down what the intake and the exhaust is. Uh, factory specs and then down here I made a little diagram with the numbers uh, corresponding to the torque sequence and what the torque sequence is right there that way I don't have to pull up the field service manual um, you're gonna see right here on this page um, this one right here is at eight thousandths number two is at eleven thousandths twelve thousandths ten thousandths eleven thousandths seven thousandths and then eleven and eleven um, basically what I would need to do to bring these into factory spec is I would need to swap out this one and this one which will bring this up to nine thousandths and this to ten thousandths and then probably swap three and six um, basically what that'll do is that'll give me uh, um, this is about two thousandths off. Uh, this would be about two thousandths off. So this would probably bring it down to, I would say, ten thousandths, and it would bring this one up to nine thousandths. And then the rest of them are, are well within spec. Um, down here, what I'll have to do is I'll probably have to get a little creative because you'll see there's a lot of, you know, 17s, 13s, 18s, 14s. You know, uh, a lot of these are, are way out of spec. So um, this may take me a little bit of time. I may actually have to swap uh, some of the intakes uh, out with the exhaust. But basically what I'll do is, <clears throat> you know, figure out um, on the intake side I need to be, you know, in between 9 and 13 thousandths. And then on the exhaust, 10 to 13 So it'll just be a bunch of, you know, adding and subtracting. It's, you know, pretty simple math, kind of time consuming, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, Last note uh, before I wrap this up, uh, when you install the cams, given that this was a head that had just been hot tanked and resurfaced, um, I got my assembly lube and what I did was I put a little bit right here on this and then on the actual channels themselves, put a little, little drop and basically what that does is it allows proper lubrication so I'm not rotating the cams dry. Um, if you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to ask them uh, on the post and I'll be more than happy to try to answer them for you.